As a practicing cardiologist, for me, the key insights from this study were the liability pitfalls associated with certain medications, in particular cardiovascular medications, which have certain inherent risks even when used correctly. One specific change I've made in my daily practice is the way I manage certain high-risk medications, such as anticoagulants. Coumadin, in particular, is associated with high liability risk because of the risk of bleeding and its narrow therapeutic window. One problem I've seen is confusion about who's managing a patient's Coumadin, the general practitioner or the cardiologist. In my own practice, I make sure that that's very clear so that there are no associated medication mishaps and lawsuits. Another insight I gained from this study was how to minimize the liability risks associated with procedures. All procedures have complications, even if you're doing everything right. The way to protect yourself from lawsuits is to have a real collaboration with your patient, more than just informed consent, so they understand the real risks associated with the procedure, so there are no surprises if something goes wrong. Another insight I had from this study was also understanding liability risks associated with non-cardiac diagnoses. There are many cases where cardiologists get sued because they fail to note a lung cancer or aortic dissection or pulmonary embolism because they're too focused on the cardiac diagnoses. There is more to the body than just the heart. The study was a catalyst for me to collaborate with the doctor's company in the creation of a national cardiovascular malpractice registry. This registry consists of hundreds of cases updated regularly with detailed clinical scenarios that put cardiologists at liability risk. Ideally, cardiologists can use this study to educate themselves about liability pitfalls that they can avoid in their day-to-day -day practice. For me, the key takeaway from this study is to not practice defensive medicine or to live in fear of lawsuits. It's to understand the specific clinical scenarios that put us as cardiologists at liability risk. Once we know these clinical scenarios, we can work around them, avoid them in a way that protects us from lawsuits and also improves patient care.